Hi all! Welcome back to my channel. It's me again, and and Bunjing. Tonight, um, we're going to try and taste the different sorts of T2 tea that we ordered online. We're gonna try the loose leaf one. So I have it, the lychee. You can see that the watermelon. We'll try the lemon sorbet. Chilling dates, the Titu Very Berry, the Southern Sunrise. We're gonna try first. We'll try the watermelon sorbet. So I love the packaging. I love the orange color. I'll read the back. It says, chill out in style with this oh so yummy poolside blend of lush watermelon and fresh mint. So there's a hint of mint. Kick your feet up. This brew makes it happy hour every hour. See, it's very catchy as well. Rose hip shells, spell mint, hibiscus, sweet blackberry leaves, melon pieces, lemon balm, carrot, natural watermelon flavoring, lemongrass, so it has a lemongrass, rhubarb, rose petal. All right, so we'll try. I'm so excited, guys. It's my first time. And it's Brad's first time too. Mmm, look. Okay. You can smell it? I can't smell from here. <laughs> I can smell it then. It's really hard to make a review by the, by the two person and he's sitting you behind just, me. <laughs> you can just barely smell it too, yeah? You can barely smell it. I can It'll be better when it's open now. Yep, all right. So we'll open now, guys. Mmm, <laughs> I can smell the mint. It has a, a petal, guys. See? Made from real petals. Yeah, from real petals. You see it? It's not really clear, but... One. I'll show you. Oh so, yeah, that's. Hmm, smell it. Come here. <laughs> 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 Smells really good, yeah. It does. It does. It smell does good. Some, smell good. Pop for real, and. They smell like dessert. So you can see, guys. So we'll just have to wipe. Ta -da! So we'll just have to wipe. You can see the color now. It says you have to wait per cup three to five minutes. Okay. Okay. You just switch off and come back and pull. <laughs> After three minutes, you can really see the color. It's very intense. So we'll pour it in my teacup. Smells so good. What's the smell like? I can smell the mint and a little bit fruity. It's can't really describe it. Yeah, it's got a mint smell to it a bit and something else. Yeah, it's a combination of Hibiscus, rose hip, blackberry. Well, that's what it is, rose hip. Though. Yeah, that's rose hip, lemongrass, rose petal. That's why I can't really describe what I, I can smell, but it's because it's a combination. Mm. And look, can you see the color? Try this tea, one. It's got a tea color. A bit ready looking. Yeah. Like rubus, but different. Mm. 
Oh, it's yum. Mmm. It's very light. It's very good. It's so yummy. It's refreshing, yeah. Yeah, it's very refreshing because of the watermelon. The, uh, watermelon. Yeah, it's like the watermelon paste in it. Oh, good. It's so good. Yeah? And just at the back of your throat, you can taste as the goes down, it's like a bit of that lemongrass coming down. Mm. You could have that one cold, I reckon. Yeah. All right. It's very refreshing, guys. Good Watermelon sorbet. So now, guys, we're going to try the chilling beets. It's veggie vibes and tasty beets. Sum up with psychedelic heat. Chilled, sweet, and clean with plenty of depth. It's wickedly enjoyable. So the ingredient is hibiscus, apple, carrot, beetroot, sweet blackberry leaves, orange peel, natural flavoring parsley. Oh, there's a parsley. Pomegranate peel, pomegranate petals. Oh, it's kind of soury. Sounds like soury. Mmm. Mmm. So look at that. So cute. The dry green. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, gosh. Oh, it's so delicious. I can smell the orange. I can smell the orange, the pomegranate. So good. Look at that. Can you see it, guys? So good. So we'll try this one. Ice. Look at the color. It's really nice. So we have to wait three to five minutes. to get the the nice flavor of the chilling beets. I think that's good enough for me. You can really see the the red color. So we'll pour it in my teacup. Here, it's the nice red color. Yeah, nice red color. The smell, you can really smell the orange. Mm -hmm. See, I'm right, it's quite sour, yeah, but it's not really sour, it's just right. That's a bit of a tart flavor. Another one that could put with ice, drink cold. Yeah, you can have it with cold. But I like it because it's not really sour. It's just right. For me, it's just right. And it has the fruity taste. It's like a dessert. dessert. Like, you smell it. Definitely, I like it. If you want something sour, soury taste, and fruity, um, this one is a go. I like it. This one, the next one that we're gonna try is um, I'm I'm very excited because I actually saw a review in YouTube about the T2 lemon sorbet. How they make it and all that and I'm a fan of lemon and lime 
when I saw it, that's the time I said, oh, I need to find T2. I need to try it. Now I have it. So I'm so excited to try it, guys. And I want to compare the taste of this one to the one I'm using because I'm, I'm really a fan of Twinings as well. I love the lemon and lime and Twinings. This one, because I use the lemon and lime for cold tea. So this one, definitely, I'm so excited. I really want to try. Oh, so good. It's definitely dif different smell compared to Twinings. But this one is really good. Very refreshing. Mm. It's like a, you just want to eat it. <laughs> mm, so good. Look. Mm. So, brew that one. So, we'll read the label. Prepare your taste buds for a zesty burst of lip-smacking lemon and luscious lime. So the ingredients are green tea, white hibiscus, lemongrass, lemon balm, lemon myrtle, lemon peel, natural and artificial flavoring, sandy everlasting flower. So it has a flower. So excited! Mmm! So that's the color now. It's kind of yellowish. Then we'll pour it in a teacup. So excited! Mm, that's very lemon. It has a strong lemony taste, so you think it's sour, but actually it's not. It's not very sour. It's just right. I think I like this too if, you know, when you're eating rose after you eat rose, it's really good. It really cuts the grease. The smell, the taste, it's perfect. First one we tasted is the watermelon, and then the chilling beets, and then the lemon sorbet. They're all good guys. They're very, very delicious. So, Tito, it's worth it. Um, and we still have two. Oh no, three. We still have three. The lychee, very berry, and the southern sunrise so all right we'll continue so number four we're gonna try the very berry fruit tea so this is the one that i bought in a tea, tin can so i love the packaging and look it's so good oh Smells like a fruit cake. <laughs> so excited. Makes you so excited to open it and try it. Mm. It's like a dried fruit. It's like a dessert. They sm it smells like dessert. Oh, that's a very strong smell. What's in it? Very, very, very beautiful fruit design. Uh, this deliciously rich infusion with a deep red, red color and an intense berry aroma. Yeah, it's very intense. The ingredients are hibiscus, rose heap, elderberries, natural artificial flavoring, blackberries, raspberries, strawberries. Oh, God. Brad loves berries. I love berries too. Oh, 
that's very strong. You feel like you want to eat it. Like, it's like you just want to eat the dried tea. The dried leaves. Oh my God. It's, it gives you that excitement when you smell them. Like, you know, you just really want to try it. You just really want to eat or drink it. You feel like you want to eat it. <laughs> mm. Then we put it back in the tea. It's really nice. I like it. You can really see the red color coming out. I just pour it and it's straight away. You can really see the it's it's red. So we'll leave it for a couple of minutes, three to five minutes, maybe three will be good. Because I'm so excited, I wanna try. I can't wait for five minutes. All right, so after three minutes, look, it's so red. Mm, I can really smell it. So good. Oh, yum. It's like a berry gummies or something. It's like a candy or something. Berries, berry candies. So good. You can really taste the berries. Raspberry, strawberry, and the rose hip. And the smell. Mm. Delicious. All right, guys, so we're on the fifth. We're trying the lychee, lychee bay lookout. So look at the packaging. It's really nice and very girly. I love it. The touch of the pink and the green, the bluish yellow. It's really cute. It's really cute. I can even smell it from here. Don't even need to open it and you can really smell it. This one has a bigger packaging than the orange one. I think the orange one is only 50 grams and this one is 120. Bigger packaging. So cute. I love it. Look at that. I thought it's gonna be like pinky as well inside, but look at the dried bits of that one. Mmm. Definitely lychee. So good they're all actually delicious they all smell really good so they're all just dark and there's some mm. see the color so we'll leave it for three minutes again and we'll read the back. I love the color. It says here, lychee, chocolate, and chai. Oh, that's why it's kind of dark. And then the smell, it's blendy. I'm thinking before, what's that smell? I don't really know what's that smell. It's not only lychee. It's because it has chocolate and chai. What an expected delight. All three combined to turn your next cup into a deliciously Fruity tag on the classic chai. A bite of dark chocolate and a treasure chest of spices make an island treat that's, that they'll send your senses straight to Saigon. Mm, interesting.
you have to leave it for two to four minutes so this one we can put it on for two minutes because the, the others they're like three to five minutes the ingredients are black tea cocoa naves cocoa 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 uh, naves ginger so it has ginger cinnamon cardamom lychee chili green peppercorns so it has chili so guys here you go it looks like a black tea mm, smells so good This one is not a fruity one. Oh, because it says here, lychee bay look out loosely flavored black tea. No wonder why. It's like a black tea. But there's a hint of lychee and um, dark chocolate and chai. You can smell that, like the aroma of it. It's, mm. And at the moment here in our place, it's raining. It's actually raining since yesterday. So it's really good to have that cup of tea. So if you're into black tea, try this one. It's really good. It's kind of different because it's not just pure black tea. It has a um, combination of the dark chocolate, lychee, and, um, and it has that fruity aroma. not too bad it's really good we're on the last one it's the Tito Southern Sunrise mm. smells like the lemon sorbet mm. what's in the lemon sorbet and this one we'll compare lemon sorbet has green tea White hibiscus, lemongrass, lemon balm, lemon myrtle, lemon peel, natural and artificial flavoring, sandy everlasting flower. That's the lemon sorbet. So this southern sunrise, um, apple pieces, white hibiscus flowers, apple po pomace, black blackberry leaves, grapefruit peel, lemongrass, grapefruit flavor, lemon flavor. So. It smells very lemony. This one. They kind of design. It smells this one. Oh, this one is more stronger. The lemon, lemon flavor. And the lime. You can really smell this one. It's more stronger smell. So, let's see. All right, it's kind of zesty, like limey. No. Yeah, you know what it smells like? It smells like a uh, marinade for a... Yes, actually. For like kebabs or yeah. lemon, lemon lime kebabs. Yeah, it's really, it's really delicious. Oh, yum. Reminds me of lemon. food. You put pepper with it to be like lemon pepper. <laughs> smells. It's really strong. Really strong. It yeah. Sort of clears your head when you smell it. Mmm. It's like a marinade. <gasps> lemon, like a. Definitely got a really lot of a, a really lemony flavour. Yeah. Smell. Aroma. Mmm, very zesty. Feel like calamansi. Mm. Like citrusy. Mm. So what's in it? Lime and... It has apple pieces, white hibiscus flowers, apple pomace, blackberry leaves, grapefruit peel, 
lemongrass grapefruit flavor lemon flavor and it says grapefruit flavor and lemon yeah. flavor it says white hibiscus lemongrass and grapefruit bring this fruity brew to life mm. inspired by an australian summer this sunny design with its tantalizing aroma will brighten any mood or morning and it's night time <laughs> it's night time so, yeah. so i did mm. so does it uh, smell like hay fever and <laughs> hay fever. 25 degree days <laughs> no this is a good summer smell mm. it must have been cold summers where they were mm. It's just sunshine, it didn't say hot summer. A summer day in Australia. Mm. Well, that means like 45 degrees Celsius. Yeah, I don't like and the hot summer dry here. Dry grass and dust storm. Because I have hay fever. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh You're definitely right. It smells like a lemon marinade. It's very good, Dar. It's yummy. Oh, yum. Try it. So good. Yeah, that's quite good. Yeah. It's, ve it's very refreshing. Yeah, you could drink that cold with honey or anything. Yeah. Be really good. Tastes like the, the, the lemon and honey that that you get given when you got a sore throat. Yes. It's got no honey, obviously, but you could put honey in it. And it, I reckon it'd be good for your throat. It yes. It the same. Mm. Doesn't actually say anything about the vitamin content in it, does it? No. Oh, even if you buy the normal tea, there's no vitamin content or anything. Well, some, of them, some of the teas you do. Yeah, but with all the lemon and the zest and the oranges or whatever they put it in, some. there's going to be some. And it's, especially those lemons and limes, it's going to be ascorbic vitamin acid. C, ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid, vitamin C. This definitely, I like this one. Um, More so than the other one. Yeah, because this one is a black tea. I'm not really into black tea, but it smells really good. At least it's kind of different because when you just drink black tea, it's just black tea, like a normal tea. But this one have a different kind of taste, aroma, different the smell. Twist. Yeah, this a twist, but. I didn't really taste tasted the chili. Did you? Not so much. No, no, no not with the chili, which is good because I'm not really into chili. <laughs> but it has a very strong black tea flavor, and then the cocoa, the cacao, call it, um, and the ginger, the blend, and the cinnamon. The cinnamon you can smell it as well, and it it's good for people that love black tea. <laughs> And the very berry, it's good as well. I like it. And it's have a nice red color. And the lemon sorbet, I like it too. But this one is a bit more lemony. It's still lemony on that one, but this one I like the, the combination better. And definitely these two is really good. I like them too. They're very refreshing. So I think with watermelon, I'll make it for my uh, cold tea. Yeah, think cold yeah. tea. It's very refreshing. Like it. So that's it for tonight, guys. That's it for the tea too. And thank you all for watching. Definitely, they're they're good. They're very yum. It's yummy tea too.